Well, your smartphone may be a new way for you to donate to a political campaign in the future. we got Peter Landers of the Wall Street Journal joining us now from Washington, D.C. to tell us about this. Right now, Peter, am I right in saying you cannot collect money via a cell phone or a smartphone for a political donation? Well, you can solicit donations uh, via a cell phone, but then you have to end up really going onto an Internet site. Uh, as you would at a, at a desktop computer and typing in your credit card number and all that. So it can be somewhat cumbersome. And what the proposal is, is for uh, donation by text message. So you just type in a couple of numbers and say donate, and, and there you go, 10 bucks to the campaign. And, and, th and that's, the, uh, that, that's the plan of this proposal. But there are some problems with that, aren't there? Because political campaigns have to report um, within a few days how, where they got their donations from, right? And they wouldn't necessarily allow you to do that with the cell phone bill cycle. That's exactly right. There are a number of technical issues. One of them is that uh, uh, candidates and campaigns are supposed to report their donations within 10 days, whereas if you're billed on your cell phone bill, that comes every month. So it might be 30 days later. Uh, and a number of other issues involving the maximum uh, donation for an an anonymous donation. You're only allowed to give up to $50 anonymously. And so the proposal aims to overcome some of the objections that have uh, toppled previous proposals. So w one of the issues there would be that people make um, a number of donations y using the, the, the text on their cell phone to sort of circumvent that law. Um, and they're looking at ways to get around that, right? That's exactly right. I mean, in, in theory, you could donate 10 times with 10 text mm. messages, and then you donate, say, $100, and mm. that's over the $50 cap for anonymous donations. So, wh so wh all this is being... Go on, sorry, sorry go carry on. Well, all this is being considered by the Federal Elections Commission, and uh, maybe by June they'll come down with a decision about whether this new plan for text donations is, is going to be workable. Now, could this be a big uh, money spinner for the political campaigns, for the Romney camp and the Obama camp? I don't think it's going to be a huge amount of money. I mean, I think the, the idea is you have a, especially a college audience. All the kids are carrying their, their cell phones, and they're all hepped up. They're all uh, revved up at this uh, candidate's rally, and the candidate says, now I want you to all uh, text uh, donate to this number, and they're all doing it, and there's, there's peer pressure, and maybe they collect a few thousand or 10,000 extra dollars if it's a well-attended rally. And they get uh, people more personally involved in the campaign because they, they did donate, even if it was only $10. Yeah. So it's not a huge money spinner. It's more an enthusiasm, uh, enthusiasm spinner. Okay, an enthusiasm spinner. Well, that can be important in an election campaign. Uh, great stuff, Peter. Thank you very much. Peter Landers of The Wall Street Journal.